Hello, I'm Adriana. I'm a Master Soul Paths teacher and guide with a quick reading, a quick message for Taurus. If you resonate with the Taurus energy, this reading is for you. So we're talking Taurus Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, especially since Venus rules Taurus. She's especially strong and happy there. <laughs> okay, so let's see. This is going to be a three card message plus a watch my budget, a spiritual theme card. Okay. We have the Emperor as your spiritual theme, King of Cups, Ace of Swords, and the High Priestess. What is going on here? Do you know, I'm going to go off the traditional interpretation of the emperor because I'm feeling something different in this card right now. I feel like this card is actually talking to you about journeys and um, trips across and it's over water. We have a lot of water energy right now, but this is about how you're moving across a landscape. This is, I just, I feel a very um, moving just, yeah, like it doesn't feel static. This energy is about traveling and how you are traveling through life. How are you, how you are traveling through your current circumstance. And it's also about traveling through these circumstances intact, not letting go of what's important to you or who you are. The emperor comes bearing wisdom, and I feel like maybe that's what our message is here, that you're traveling, you need to think of yourself as traveling through life, receiving and giving wisdom, giving wisdom when it's asked for, and really looking for the wisdom in every situation. Okay, I'm going to come back to that because... I feel like there's more of a story in there. Now here with King of Cups, Ace of Swords, and the High Priestess. Ace of Swords is leaning into the King of Cups. And so I feel like there has been a rebirth or a new beginning regarding a relationship. And this is, oh, wow. Okay, I didn't see that before. <laughs> Do you see the houseboat? It's really hard. It's, it's kind of brown on the bottom here. That same houseboat is up in the corner, up in this corner right here in that King of, in the King of Cups. So it, there, there's a definitely a connection between these two cards as far as where we're going. The houseboat is on the top of the wave, but the wave is calm right now. The King of Cups is kind of keeping them at this calm place. So there's been a new decision about a masculine energy. There's been a new decision made through the heart about this masculine energy. But the houseboat being up there, it's still, even though the King of Cups is holding it here, I mean, to me, it feels precarious because it's, it's at the top and where can it go but down, right? But I think what this is saying is, that's your perception. Ace of Swords is also perception. So that's your perception that the houseboat is not stable. The Emperor is saying you need to progress through as if the houseboat is stable, as if the houseboat is on the most calm, still water, just moving through without any issue, without any ups and downs. This is about keeping yourself calm and steady. High Priestess really asking you to get quiet and to listen inward. We've got spiders on both of these cards. Spiders are all about stories. And I saw a beautiful, huge spider this morning drop down from my railing, very much like on this card, just dropped all the way down. So what's the message there?
I think what this is saying is that there's a story that the mind creates. There's a story that you make up here. And then there's a real story. That's the veil behind. Because in this card, her veil is made out of the spider webs. There's a bigger story going on. And I think this is why the emperor was asking you to look for wisdom. There's a difference between like wisdom and knowledge and facts. Knowledge and facts are very like superficial in the moment. Here's what this is. What color is this little device? It's black. Okay, that's nice. Um, you know, what's on this card? A bird and, and a spider web. But there's a bigger story behind this. You know, this device actually matches a different device. So I know they go together. The colors match. Um, this card is so much more than the image. There, it also represents different symbolism. So it's part of a bigger system. What you're seeing right now is part of something bigger. And if you jump to conclusions too soon about what you're seeing, you're going to make the wrong conclusions. Okay, there is deeper emotional currents going on. There is a deeper intuitive story. And that's why it's so important for you to really listen to the correct story. All right. It's like when, you know, if you watch justice, like crime drama shows, or, you know, even being in court, sometimes when you hear like the witnesses or you hear, you just hear parts of the story, you don't get the full picture and the full picture, the truth comes out at the end. And you're like, oh, that's what all those little parts meant. But the, the thing here is not to mistake just a chapter for the whole story, okay? So this is about, as you move through, know that you're going to come from a place of calm stability, but just keep gathering the wisdom. You keep pulling that story together. Keep asking for more intuition. Keep listening, because what you're seeing in front of you just isn't the whole thing. Anything else want to come through right now? I do feel like there is a lot of divine guidance with you right now. I'm seeing a lot of stars on these two cards. But, but... Things may not be what you see, what, what they think you are. You know, I, or, or, <laughs> I think you understood what I was trying to say. Um, you know, I'll just share with you a quick story. I had a reading a long time ago, maybe 10, 11 years with a psychic. And I was really confused as to why, well, she gave me some information. And what happened was I really wanted a relationship at the time. And she saw a masculine energy around me in the future. And she put two and two together. She saw the masculine energy. She saw my desire for the relationship. There must have been an interchange between it that she thought, oh, this is good. And so she said to me, you know, in the next couple months, you're going to have this relationship. And of course, we were talking about romantic. Well, it turned out to be a situation where I was working very closely with a male energy and um, there may have been an attraction on his part, but he was married. Okay, so there was a misinterpretation. And I was always confused and a little um, jaded about that because I thought, you know, she was, she was a very well respected and um, people really talked her up. Oh, she's so accurate. She said this, so that. But I think a lot of that was to teach me. It wasn't just, okay, well, that happened, right? But it was to teach me about, you know, what does it really mean to look into the future? What does it mean to trust someone's authority over your own? What does all that really mean? You know, it was a bigger picture and it was also bigger information about this psychic herself that she was more wanting to please the other person than deliver the truth. I think there was a lot of messages in that. Because all anyone can do is provide information to you. You have to make the decisions and put it all together yourself. Any information from me or from someone else should support your own empowerment. It's not telling you what to do or saying you have no choice in your future. It's showing you what's going on so you can make the best decisions about your future. So 
that was kind of a long-winded story, but what I'm trying to say is don't jump to conclusions too soon, Taurus. Keep, keep things open. Keep listening from your heart. Keep approaching life as though you're traveling through gathering wisdom. And I feel like you'll see this bigger picture come together quicker than you think. So again, Taurus, thanks so much for joining me. If you're interested in a deeper one-on-one -on -one reading, either astrology or tarot, or if you're on the spiritual journey and you're like, you know, I'd really like someone who's been through similar stuff that I'm going through who can help me through. Um, there's many different things I can help with. I'm very strong helping with self-love, with empowering yourself within relationships, healing the inner child, and different things. The best way to figure out if your intuition isn't talking to you just yet, I do offer a free consultation one-on-one -on -one through my website. So if you're not sure and you'd like to explore a little bit more, that's the best way to really feel if we're a good fit. So with that being said, website and email is in the description below, and I'll look forward to seeing you soon.